a full service salon. So let us help you make a great first impression. Call us today to set your appointment at Hello Gorgeous. Our number is 352-351-5358. Again, that's 352-351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous. All right, 20 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Uh, on the phone is Jim Jenkins. He is the CEO of Universities North American East at Sodexo in North America. He's talking to us about a survey they did. It's a lifestyle survey, and uh, it tracks the undergraduate student journey. This is an important thing to, to look at. Um, you know, where where do people um, take their education? What do they what do they do next, et cetera? Uh, Good morning, Jim. I'm, I'm interested to find out what kind of information you learned from the survey. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for thanks for having me. You know, this generation that's coming into school today is uh, completely different. Generation Z, very tech savvy, um, and they bring with them uh, a lot of concerns. You know, concerns about the future, concerns about debt, concerns about uh, you know, will I succeed after college? So the survey really has helped us identify some points that are going to help universities with the recruitment process, the retention or living process, and then how students succeed. And, and, and um, where are you calling from, Jim? Does, does the, is, the, um, is the survey nationwide? The survey was global. Oh, oh global. And, oh, wow. uh, yeah, it was a global survey. Uh, we, we surveyed 4,000 students in six countries, the U.S., Spain, the U.K., Italy, China, and India. And uh, significant differences between really the U.S. Uh, students and uh, the rest of the world. What fuels their decisions? Is it, is it interest in what they're going to do as a career? Is it, is it the, the amount of money they can make? What exactly fuels their decisions? Uh, certainly skill set and what they're after and what a particular university offers is very important. But what we found from this survey is that I think institutions can learn from is the, the power, if you will, of the uh, first impression. And, you know, they always say the first impressions are, are really important. But with this group, uh, the selection process, 43% are making their decision on the first impression. And they're saying oh, really? that how friendly a campus is and how they feel welcome actually ranks higher than the institution's reputation. Really? And, and is there an indication of what makes people feel welcome? I, I, I can remember in my own younger days, sometimes I would prefer a workplace or a school that was a little bit more relaxed as opposed to formal, but other people would be more comfortable in a formal setting. So is it broken up in that way? Well, I think you could look, you know, certainly from a generation. And when we take this survey and sort of pull it apart a little bit, we're, we're seeing it. it 86% of the U.S. students like to study independently or on their own. So universities need to be very um, cognizant of the fact that they need to have spaces for community. They need to have – the campus needs to be wired 100%. You know, it's not just ah. you know, Wi-Fi access here or there. Yeah. Technology is extremely important to these guys. They grew up That's it, uh, yeah. with social media. You know, they, that, they don't – they don't live without it. And that's a big difference from when I was a kid. So, uh, okay, and I can see that. And if I was going to school right now, and who knows, maybe I'll go back. You never know. But I, I could see this being a, a, a really... <laughs> you never Save know. your money. You never. <laughs> Save your money. It's really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I could see this. I, in fact, you see it all the time right now. You see, I mean, everybody's looking at their devices. It's... Uh Again, this this generation, I think, is more connected than any other generation, but they're also more independent. So, uh, you know, you look at it, and it's the technology that certainly does that. And uh, they probably have more global friends than you and I will ever have. But, like, again, 86% of them like to study and be, be by themselves. So wow. it's the connection through technology versus the connection uh, of social skills. And that's where universities can step in and and develop collaborative spaces that are going to heck this is the next generation for us right this is the next the next part of the workforce yeah yeah uh, one of the other items on your survey was about a student debt how come if these students that are attending college now are so afraid they're going to be overwhelmed why can't they go out and get a part-time job right now 
<laughs> to try to uh, alleviate that because I know you have to study and I know going to college is a huge endeavor, but you still have to look toward the future and be and 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 take responsibility for your own self. <laughs> I, I hear you, and interestingly enough for this survey, we're, we're seeing that only about 28% of students have, have gone through internships. So the debt is very high, it's very important, and then I think they're putting a lot of stress on themselves about success in, in school with their academics that, uh, you know, the, the income piece is very important and they worry about it, but they're, I think they're more worried about succeeding in school and finding a job and and we're seeing that come screaming out on this survey that, that says you know I'm worried about the future and I'm worried about the debt and I'm worried about the cost you know and some of some of the institutions today in the US I mean it, it's 60 70 thousand dollars a year to go to school Wow um, so w what role does Sodexo play in all of this well, we can we can certainly help our partners as it relates to you know we talked about the collaboration space you know we talked about the first impression so you know our services that include an integrated facilities management approach you know from everything from housekeeping to grounds and maintenance to quality dining facilities and uh, supporting everything from uh, tutoring to counseling to um, social experiences uh, is going to enable us to to help these institutions be relevant and that's what they need to be for these students they need to understand yeah. that they can succeed and that they will succeed and the investment is worth worthwhile so does it change anything that you do does, does the results of the survey change anything that you do yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're again, we're taking a look at how we design facilities, how we design collaborative space. Uh, we're looking at integrated uh, student accommodation pro uh, products, our facilities management products. So we learn a ton from from doing surveys like this, and and uh, it's very beneficial. Does the uh, I don't know if this matters or not, but does the the presence of uh, like a coffee shop type of environment? actually help out with the with the kid with the students with the social it, absolutely it, se it seems yeah, like they're, they're, that's what you see anyway mm -hmm. i'm just yeah i mean look at look at the popularity of the coffee shops and uh, you know the the big names out there are always always packed and those students not just students but people always in there with uh, their computers doing wi-fi and again they study independently but that doesn't mean that they have to be just in their room so they're looking for spaces like that yeah, you know? I, and I, I can. That's easy to understand. We're all human, and, and yeah. You, so if you're on your computer and you're doing everything by yourself, and and so is the next guy having another cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those those spaces seem to be. I, I even see them in airports now. Yeah. I see those kind of spaces that b extend beyond the the coffee house. Just the the coffee house type environment is what I see. Absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't yep. it? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's changing, and again, institutions have to change with the with the different needs of the of the different generations. I mean, again, you look at this group that's coming into college now. Um, you know, it's they are different than than the students of ten years ago. Yeah, my nephew just graduated from high school, and he's starting his first year of college right now, away from home. Even though uh, a community colleges, he could stay home and you know cut the cost you know like by three quarters by staying home and commuting he chose to go to a uh, four-year college and again there's the institution being able to show him or, and or his parents the relevant value of the investment that they're making and that's that's what this survey is all about to help us pull those nuggets out to help help institutions I'm gonna, I don't know if this is an awkward way of asking this question but in in audio production which is what we do in radio uh, the way we do it with computers now is is ultra, ultra quick compared to what we used to do with reel to reel tape mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if students are thinking the same thing why does it have to be four years why can't I learn the same thing I mean computers make it quicker to research you don't have to go to the library and take you know a whole hour just finding one book exactly is, is it possible that that the newer universities will have just as an equivalent degree but take less time to get in I think eventually the industry is going to look at that. I mean, somebody's going to make a breakthrough move, uh, but uh, you know, you would you would think that it would have happened by now, and it hasn't. So the traditional four-year experience is still 
valued tremendously yeah, uh, yeah. But by folks as it relates to preparing you for you know your your differentiation in the world. Well, it's a, it's a different world out there, and uh, I guess in the university world, you've got people just out of high school and people who've already lived a few decades after high school, and they're going back. Uh, Jim, thank you for being on the air with us today. Can you leave us with a website? Yeah, great. Uh, you can go to uh, SodexoUSA.com and, and get the survey, or just pop in University Lifestyle Survey into your browser, and it, it, it'll show up. Very good. Nice. Uh, Jim Jenkins, thank you for your time. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. FBI agents met the Las Vegas gunman Stephen Paddock's girlfriend for questioning when she got off a plane in Los Angeles last night. Mary Lou Danley was in the Philippines when the massacre happened on Sunday, and her sister tells Seven News in Australia... He sent her away so that he can plan what he's planning without interruptions. President Trump goes to Las Vegas today. It's reported that a pro-life congressman asked his girlfriend to get an abortion. Pennsylvania Republican Tim Murphy reportedly sent the messages to 32-year-old Shannon Edwards. The 64-year-old Murphy apparently thought the forensic psychologist was pregnant with his baby. As it turns out, she wasn't. But the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette got a hold of texts he sent her urging her to get an abortion. His office is declining comment. Fox's Gary Baumgarten. Fox News. We report. You decide. What if hiring could be easier, less time-consuming, with more qualified candidates and faster results? What if hiring could be smarter? Thanks to ZipRecruiter, it can be. With one click, post your job to over a 100 of the web's leading job boards so you don't spend time wondering where the right candidates are searching. Then ZipRecruiter uses its smart matching technology to scan millions of active resumes and notify the most qualified candidates to apply for your job. And the ZipRecruiter dashboard makes it easy to review, rate, and contact candidates all in one place. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. ZipRecruiter makes it simple for growing businesses of all sizes to hire the right people, no matter the industry. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. We're so confident ZipRecruiter will get you the results you need. We'll let you try it free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen again to tell you about what's hot and what's not. Dairy Queen has some of the best char-grilled chicken breasts on earth as well as their chicken breast salad. And the burgers are exceptional, cooked on a real grill for the best flavor and less fat. And for dessert, blizzards are unequal to personally. Banana split is my all-time favorite. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Hi, my name is Erica Olstein. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. So, you used to be wired, now you're just tired. You used to be thin, but now you're the heaviest you've ever been. You don't necessarily always have to take a med if your thyroid is playing dead. If you have a thyroid disorder, an acupuncture visit may be in order. Come visit me, your primary care physician, Erica Olstein, at A Better You Healthcare. Call me at 352-615-5566. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Hey, this is Dan. Let me ask you a few questions. Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location. 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's Upholstery. 
Cala Business Leaders Incorporated is a group of independent local firms providing a wide range of quality goods and services. Each firm strives to maintain the highest level of professional integrity and 100% customer satisfaction. When you're looking for goods and services, call a member of the Ocala Business Leaders and we are confident you will be pleased with the results. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Ocala Business Leaders, join us at the Ocala Elks Lodge, 25th Avenue in Ocala, any Wednesday at 7 a.m. and enjoy a breakfast on us. For more information, check OcalaBusinessLeaders.com. Here is your 30-second news brief. Marion County began spraying for mosquitoes last night. A trap near Tampa collected about 26,000 mosquitoes in just six hours. A 68-year-old Ocala man was critically injured after being struck by a pickup truck yesterday morning. A large beam fell on I-4 in Orlando as crews were removing it. O.J. Simpson's lawyer has called Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi a bitch for saying Simpson was not welcome in our state and students can now earn a degree in theme park design. And that is your news brief from The Source. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala!